This is a continuation from our last video involving probabilities and a spinner, where the spinner below is spun three times. If the spinner lands on a border, that spin doesn't count and it's spun again, and it's equally likely that the spinner lands in each of the six sectors. Now we talked about the first part already, so we're on the second part, which says find the probability of spinning cyan on the first spin, red on the second, and blue on the third spin. And just like before, what we have is the probability of three independent events, one occurring right after the other. And so how do we go about getting that probability? Well, we take each probability and we multiply them together. So we have the probability that we spin cyan on the first spin multiplied by the probability that we spin red on the second multiplied by the probability that we spin blue on the third. So what's the probability that we get cyan on the first spin? Well, notice there's one sector that's cyan in color and six total sectors, so we say that the probability of spinning a cyan is one out of six. How about the red? There are three sectors that are red out of six total, and so the probability of getting a red is three out of six. And finally, the probability of getting a blue. Notice there are two blue spots out of six total. And what do you notice? This is just like the problem we did a second ago, right? 1 times 3 times 2 in the top, or the numerator is going to give us 6. And then 6 times 6 times 6 is 6 cubed on the bottom. Or if I list it out, 6 times 6 times 6 allows me to see that I'm canceling a 6 from the numerator and the denominator. And so that probability just turns out to be 1 on the numerator and 6 times 6, or 36 in the denominator. In other words, it's the exact same probability. It doesn't matter which order I spin those three different colors. As long as I spin those three different colors back to back to back, I'm going to get the same probability of their occurrence. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and do this last part. The last part to the problem says find the probability of spinning cyan on every spin. Find the probability of spinning cyan on every spin. Well, again, three independent events, but this time, each time we're spinning cyan. So we want to take the probability of getting cyan times the probability of getting cyan times the probability of getting cyan. And what is that? Well, let's see. The probability of getting cyan, there's one cyan sector out of six total. And so we simply take one sixth times one sixth times one sixth. Or multiplying that all together, one times one times one over six times six times six. And what happens when you take 6 times 6 times 6 on your calculator? You get 216. And thus, we would say that the probability of getting a cyan on every spin is just 1 out of 216. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me.